Hello everyone, welcome back and this weekend we took a trip to Newcastle. We did quite a few things and there is another video on the way. This video I just wanted to show you the things that we got up to outside of Beamish including golf, what we ate and a couple of other things as well exploring the city. But for now just enjoy this hilarious golf montage where we went to a place called Golf Fang, formerly Ghetto Golf I believe and it's just absolutely crazy in here. You have to be over 18 to even enter so you know just be mindful of that before looking to book this place it's uh, not for the faint of heart to say the least If you're travelling to Newcastle via the A1, you'll have noticed this amazing structure, which is the Angel of the North. It's a pretty popular free tourist destination here in Newcastle. To avoid crowds, I would say arriving just before or after sunset. And to be honest, the silhouette of the statue looks so much better at this time of the day anyway. So it's definitely worth coming at the quieter time. It's the Angel of the North right there. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. You've always wanted to come see the Angel of the North. I have, and there it is. We did it in 2024, remember? We did it now. It's pretty cool. The wings are longer than I thought. They look longer here in this direction. Very impressive structure of an angel in the north. No, just a quick detour. Peter's always wanted to come here, so uh, I'm happy that we got to do it. For our choice of dinner on the weekend, we decided to visit this Malaysian restaurant called Chili Paddy, and it's got pretty good like fusion options here, so you can get some pretty good standard kind of East Asian dishes. The vegetarian selection was really good. We decided to share a flat tofu and aubergine curry, which came with like the standard curry sauce that you get, like katsu curry or chip shop curry, which was disappointing. We thought it would be a bit more exotic than that, to be honest. And then we got a tofu dish that had a sort of sweet and sticky chili mango sauce on top of it as well. excited for bows. I'm so excited for bows. It was so good last time that I just can't not be excited for bows. Breakfast in Newcastle, a must try, is this place called Pablo Eggs Gabao. There's three locations, one of which is in Whitley Bay, and it seems to be more takeaway fare, but there are outdoor seats. So they've got a veggie and a vegan one, like bao, both are different. So I think we should get one of each because mm -hmm. I think we had the veggie bao last time but the vegan one looks just as nice and it has a veggie sausage patty in it. So this one's the vegan one. So there's a hash brown in there, a veggie sausage, some kind of veg that looks like a pancake, sriracha, sriracha and sauce and then this one is the real one, the veggie bao. And that one's just cheese, egg, and hash brown right hash, no i don't know if it's a hash yeah, brown oh is there a hash brown in there yeah. oh my god there is i didn't know that happy days so the question is which one do you want 
I'm kind of tempted by the sausage one, but I feel like an ass taking that off you. Well, okay, I'll have a bite of it then. Have a bite of it and see if it's the best thing you've ever had, and then we'll decide from there. Okay. I'm not getting that back, am I? That's amazing. <laughs> that is really good. We didn't get the vegan one last time. No, we didn't. You can taste that it's vegan cheese and I've got lipstick on it. But if you want this one, you can have it. Right, so I'm going to try the veggie one now, which doesn't have a sausage in it. it should do though, I mean. Yours has got to Yeah, yeah. Hash brown though. So obviously that's a real egg and real cheese. I think that one's better. Wow. Go with the vegan one. Wow. Decisions were made. Johnny. It's a veg. Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Is it better than Breggs? <laughs> I don't know. No, is anything better I think than I think it's better than Bregs. But I'm gonna say that, aren't I? We're right here. I was just like, are you ready for a bow? <laughs> are you ready for a bow from Bow Place in Newcastle? That was Pablo Eggs Cabal or Eggs Go Bow. Eggs Go Bow, yeah. So we just finished at Pablo Eggs Go Bow, which was really good. Like I said, we've had was, that before. Yeah, but you can't have it enough times, can you? No, every time we come to Newcastle now, we'll have one. And then there's also one in Whitney Bay and then another one. But now we're just going to walk to the quayside and just have a little look around before we drive back home. So if we see anything of interest, I'm sure I'll film it. choice we'll take something home but the amount of vegan food and veggie food here is just great it's a movement there's a cat cafe oh my god you're, you're like please don't make first of all i had to have cheese then i've got to go to a cat cafe worst day i don't know what else we're gonna make you do So if you head down the riverside by all the bridges, you're going to find a contemporary art gallery called Baltic. And it's really cool in there anyway, but the best feature is the rooftop terrace where you can get absolutely impeccable views of the city and the river. Back over the Millennium Bridge now after being at the gallery and the viewpoint. And I think I might go for a beer, maybe half just before the journey home, and we'll get some cake. Party ring. Because we can easily break that in half and have a party ring each. Yeah. Even that'd be a good one. Look, if you want cherry bake well, get no, it. No, 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 it's fine. I, I'm happy to. So they're brownies. It's a blondie. Caramel blondie. That looks nice. Yeah, we went to buy the River Brew in 2019 but it's a nice location and it has some pretty interesting like fruity ipas from memory the river 
Brewer Brewing Company or Bruco for short. I had the I had the IPA that was called what was it called? Oh, Jackson gosh. or something. Uh, Jackson. Jackside. Yeah, Jackson. yeah, I had the Jackside, which was really fruity IPA. Good. But it's more about the location for that place. The selection isn't big. And they don't do their own brews, or at least they didn't have their own brews on tap then, but it was still pretty good. And then just before that, we went to the art gallery on the quayside and did like the um, viewing platform. Yeah, the Baltic, wasn't it? Yeah, the Baltic, that's yeah, what it was flower, called. It's like a flower mill, it's been turned into a, uh, yeah, gallery. And then before that, we went to the Quayside Market, which like I said before, had lots of street food options for all tastes. So we've got two brownies to take home, one that we've eaten. And then before that, we had the Pablo Eggs Gabal. And that was today. That was good. Yesterday, Beamish. If you're in Newcastle, you have to go. It was so good. And then the night before we did some golf, which used to be ghetto golf, but it's changed. And that's it, that's how to spend a weekend in Newcastle, I think. Yeah, it's a really good weekend. It's been a great weekend. I'm, I'm windswept as hell, but it was a good weekend. It was. So, that was that. We'll see you in the next one, I think. We're going to wrap things up. Bye.